The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. And boy, today is the day of celebration. We finally feel a lift in a positive, optimistic direction with the energy. And for those that are like, I'm not feeling it. How do I feel? You know, it's I'm going to explain that through the whole show because Mercury retrograde, which kind of causes all that communication mishap or it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. We don't have a clear understanding about what's happening. It moves forward today, officially, right on top of a new moon coming in with the optimism. So, so guys, I know you've been waiting. I know you've been waiting and you've been patiently waiting to feel this energy. That's what we want to celebrate today. We want to celebrate how far we've come this year. We want to celebrate tapping into optimism. And for those in the angel retreat, I did put a special meditation in there for this energy in this new moon. If you have not gone in and checked, that's in your membership. And what is the angel retreat? The angel retreat is how you can support the show. It's people that love the show and it's really classes. It's not, um, it's more like we're, I'm teaching deeper in there. We're taking what we do here on the show and we're working with it more in there. It's a little bit more content than it's that it's exclusive. So that's something you can do if you want to. I have a link on my YouTube right in the description there if you want to check it out. It's right on the front page of my website, jenroyster.com. And we have a crowd that has started. We've just really opened this up in the last month. So it's brand new. And what I do is I'm adding current content on a regular basis in there that is with what we're experiencing now. So that's going to be building and growing with momentum. So those of you that are in there now, thank you. And I wanted to make sure you guys knew that was in there. I'm going to be putting a lot of different unique meditations in there that can take it, you know, to the next level. So what has happened here? We've leveled up a little bit. Yeah, even if you didn't know that's what was going on for you, we've leveled up. This whole year, let me tell you, I know some people have been feeling it like, oh my gosh, is it going to ease up? Depends on how resistant we are. And I want to address that. I get a lot of questions about, I keep going through all this stuff. That is it? I keep going through this. I keep going through this. Or I don't understand. Or I just want to know. I just want to know. And we have had a level of patience. Yes, we have. We have had a level of patience. However, that patience is going to pay off if you just go with that flow because in 2019 things move faster we won't have as many retrogrades it, it's going to start really moving with momentum and this year was really clearing out the closets getting rid of the issues clearing up letting go all that kind of stuff and you might still feel a little bit if you're feeling a lot of irritability right now and i do want to address this it's important if you feel impatience or irritability or you feel like things are flaring you to anger really quickly or you just feel off that's probably an inner resistance that your your subconscious is trying to make you aware of uh, that can happen that that is truly what makes things bumpy when we feel like we're going through the school of hard knocks it's because most of the time, okay, in my experience, and that's what I share on the show, guys, I share my experience in life, what I have studied, what I have learned, how I communicate with the angels. I mean, 
nothing is the same out there with everybody. You're going to hear different things with different people because you find your niche with it. I share what I know, take it or leave it. But in this energy, we have, it's like, I, you know, I trying to explain this. It's I'm trying to explain like a 5d experience in 3d and it's like, what? Yeah, I know. But it, 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 it does happen because you, you're going to feel probably more physical things. You probably will feel like, why is it so hard? Those are clues. I want to give you a different perspective. This is the optimistic side of it, that this energy coming in with the new moon and it comes in, um, it, you know, today and tomorrow, depending on where you are, it's here. Pretty much the energy's here. You usually can feel it a few days ahead. And so we're in it, but it's a Sagittarius energy. And, and Sagittarius is really about, let's look at the glass half full. Let's, let's look at a perspective that's a little bit more positive. And what is a positive perspective when life feels challenging? What can I learn from this? There's, what is it trying to teach me is a very good start to the approach to make it a positive experience. I have found, and I have found this the hard way myself because I've gone through it too. As soon as I take that approach, it does shift the energy to move through whatever is going on much quicker. And then things manifest much quicker. And then there's the perspective of, well, this is what I want. Well, what about everybody else involved? Maybe, maybe not. You have to allow people to be who they are. You have to allow and respect their privacy. You have to allow and expect and, and respect where they want to be. Just because we want it doesn't mean everybody wants what we want. And, and that's really important to hear. Some people don't like hearing that, but it's the truth. And when we stop trying to control so much, that's when it eases up. That's when it's a lot easier to tap into what we're talking about today. This is an expansive energy that comes in with this moon. And so I asked the angels, what can we do here? What, what's the message and how can we tap into this? And it was Joe Field. And I love it when Joe Field comes in when we need that boost of positive and that boost of optimism. Joe Field just, when Joe Field's energy is around, it's like you're, you know, you, you may try to go and tap into, yeah, but this and that and this and that, and you start to find a negative or you start kind of going back down that old path. Joe Field, it, when Joe Field's around, it's like, no, no this way, this way, this way. And eventually you start to find that it's lighter and you can look at, well, maybe I'm just looking at this all, you know, backwards. Maybe I should just try a different angle here. And, and honestly, guys, that's going to be the most powerful thing you can do right now with this type of energy. It is incredible. I wanted to just, I couldn't wait for this show because gosh, you know, we, we need some good news, right? Who, do you, who doesn't, right? I mean, when life is happening, it's how we're responding to it as well. So it's not that life's going to stop happening. It's how we're going to respond to it or let it go or not attach to it. And there's decisions to make in that that nobody can make for you. So we're going to talk about some of that too. So it's some people can get nervous about 2019 energy because it does move faster than this year did. This year, it was like you, it slowed down. You felt like it wasn't moving or changing. But if you really think about the comfort zone experience, right? The comfort zone. Okay. As soon as it starts to move faster, you feel like, well, no, wait, no, wait. And, and you get nervous about it because it's good. But I don't know. But I don't know. Well, all of 2018 gave us plenty of experience feeling stuck, <laughs> feeling, feeling that stuff we're really just getting done with at this point. You know, we're just, ah, I just want to be done with this. So we would really be ready to go. If you really think about it, you're so ready to go. If, 
most people, if I ask them that question point blank, they're going to go, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty done with all that. I'm ready to move. That's perfect. That's exactly what 2018 did for us. It got us ready. So when we get into 2019, which really it's starting to ramp up with this new moon. And now we start to go, wow, you know, I don't feel like it's so scary. I feel really positive about trying to step out into a new area that I have no idea what is going to happen next. All right. Well, all I can do is try. And if that doesn't work, I'll try something else. You know, you'll find that it's easier. And so uh, you can talk yourself out of it all day long if you want to, but I don't recommend it. I recommend, you know, using this energy to its fullest potential. It's absolute fullest potential because it's, it, it energizes you. It, it makes you feel alive and awake and it's just amazing. So we're talking about this new moon. Jophiel comes in to bring some positive vibes here and it's kind of like no excuses. You can stay on the, on the fence of the doubt and, and all of that. And, but you know why? when you could be using all that incredible energy into some other angle and even the tough stuff. Absolutely. And you know, when you can do that, you've empowered yourself beyond anything I could describe when you can use the energy that would keep you in the slummy, blah, you know, I know if you're watching on video, I'm making all these faces, right? <laughs> You'll just have to visualize it if you're listening on audio. Okay. Cause I can, I'm animated. I can't help it. Um, that's, that's what I say. I'm animated, but it is very, very positive energy here where it will take your doubts that, that negative lower frequency. And it just, you just will be to the point where, Oh, forget it. It's not worth it being upset about that anymore. It's not, worth fretting over that. It's not worth worrying about what that other person thinks. You know, all of this stuff is just wasting and leaking out your energy that could be utilized in so many, so many ways that would be so much better for you. So with that, I want to say hello quickly to the chat. I see the YouTube chats open. Uh, we are live video streaming and I have that YouTube embedded on my website, jenroyster.com. If you want to go there or on the YouTube channel, Jen Royster and transformation talk radio, our network is live video streaming it on Facebook. If you're over there, I've shared it on my two Facebook pages, but it's on their page. And I just want to say hello to everyone. If you're listening in the car, you're listening in audio, we want to welcome you. So quickly, quickly to the chat. I want to say hello to Candace, Maddie, David, Barbara, Kelly, Raven. Hi. Hi, you guys. Okay. I'm going to catch up on what we got going on over there. And then we're going to go into some angel guidance for this new moon, this positive vibe. This is good stuff, guys. You don't want to miss this. This is a celebration of how far you've come a celebration of who you are and your potential moving forward. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening or watching the video live stream of the Jen Royster show. We will be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information.
Welcome back to the show. All right, we're gonna tap in here a little bit. First, I wanna say hello to Jess uh, over in Facebook. Hello to you as well. She's watching over there. He or she, not sure. That name could be either one. So, sorry about that. I just don't know, but I wanted to say hi to you too. Now, let me go over to uh, a couple of things I'm seeing over in the YouTube chat. Um, let's see we have everybody's saying hello to everybody and then we get down and maddie maddie has okay maddie's saying i keep asking the angels for guidance about whether i'm supposed to completely walk away from someone who broke my heart or give them another chance later i'm letting go of fixing it well good for you i'm proud of you that's what we want to hear any wisdom okay first of all um the most important thing we do when it comes to relationships and this is for everybody whatever you may have going on that let's say yanks the chain okay you know it just kind of is just doing that to you we have to take care of ourselves first i see that david has said that as well and absolutely david i'm with you on that i agree with that nobody wants their heart to be broken um totally get that you know, I mean, that's part of the journey here sometimes with, with life. But when it comes to relationships, we have to ask ourselves, what am I doing for myself or my self-care? And when we are putting so much energy into trying to understand and figure out where the other person is or, you know, is this going to work or is it not? And I mean, we could really care about them and we will probably care about them always. I mean, honestly, I don't think I ever stop caring for anybody that I've met in my life. I just, it changes and we allow people's journeys to move freely. But sometimes they just don't stay on the same path the whole time. So my point in saying all that is when it's taking so much of your energy and it's distracting you from you taking care of you, that's your answer. Because I'm not gonna, um, that's one of the things, that's kind of why my rule here with reads and stuff. My goal as an intuitive is to teach you to trust your own intuition, but also to identify and notice where you might be self-sabotaging or avoiding a situation or you really want something but then we have to let go of it and exactly like maddie says she's like i'm letting go of fixing it yep however we've learned from those experiences and also we just have to we have to let go of the energy of another person when it comes to something like this because if it's only going out one way is that really a relationship? Is that what you want? We have to make that choice for ourselves. Nobody can make those choices for you. And you know, that's the wisdom in this is when it comes all down to it, if it's taking away from you making sure that you're growing, ascending, and your soul is being nourished, you are being taken care of, uh, it's distracting or it's affecting your happiness that way because guess what our happiness will never come from someone outside of ourselves your happiness is inside you you can be happy completely by yourself forever or with a lot of different people that come in and out of your life your whole time but your happiness comes from inside you it never comes from okay it worked out with somebody so it's important to say that and it's the truth about any of it. It could be a relationship with your work. It could be friends. It could be, you know, whatever it is. If we are making it dependent on another's choice, that's out of alignment for where your soul is anyway. So it could be um, that's something for you to kind of, you know, process and think about because I could say do this or that, um, but that wouldn't be right of me to do uh, and this is for anybody in this situation guys okay because when it comes down to the soul and that's what i'm here to teach you is to trust what your soul needs trust what nourishes your own inner 
what helps you grow, what helps you find that peace, what helps you uh, lift and be happy. And it will never satisfy everybody on the outside of you. It, so when we get past that, now we're, now we're gonna find that we are going to draw in what aligns with us and it really changes the game. Because we can be very drained from people in our lives outside of ourselves if we allow it. And when we start to grow in a spiritual awakening, it really starts to upset that apple cart a little bit because we start to become aware that, whoa, our soul is speaking up and wants this self-nurturing, the self-care, and to balance life and to detach from the things that are affecting us and, and sidelining us from our growth. And, you know, I've seen it go both ways. I've seen things go where um, you, um, what is that? What am I going to say? I've seen it go both ways where, you know, you detach and you let it go and you go, okay, that's it. I'm going to focus on myself. No matter, you know, and you feel it. Of course, your emotions have to process things, you know, disappointment or sadness or, okay, you acknowledge that. And then now you can move forward with it. You can release it. This is a new beginning moon, so use it. You know, this is optimistic, so go for it. Um, celebrate who you are and how strong you are. But I've seen it go where when you do that and you pull back and you're doing your own thing um, and you've let go of it being about somebody else's choices or whatever outside of you and you're making your life contingent on what they decide, that is never, that just, that never feels right to me, to be honest. Never does. And I've been in those situations before and it's like, it never, never, never works. So the freedom comes when it, that, that's, a, you know, this is where I'm at. If you don't want to be there, okay. But, you know, sometimes it actually will shift and work. Sometimes no. And then you're so glad that you did, that you, that you did reel it in and you did take care of yourself because now you're going to draw in what's a better alignment. And you could have been holding on to something that, that was just causing everything to be off track and you didn't realize it at the time. So that's how that goes. Um, especially when it just feels like you're hitting brick walls. So I just wanted to say thank you for sharing that Maddie, because that helps a lot of people when it comes to relationships. It's a kind of a tough one. I know really feel that for you. And Kelly is saying her third eye has been psychic, psychically hurting all week. I think it's trying to open up. How exciting. Jen, do you have any personal advice on helping this process along? Oh, well, okay. I could, yeah, because I've been experienced, Kelly, there is something with it. And I don't know if anybody else, and let's address that. Anybody else hearing those crazy, super loud, high pitches that keep changing and getting louder and louder? Yeah, I'm feeling that too. And hearing that I've had headaches all week. I feel great and I'm fine, but I've had headaches. Um, and I know that it's got to do with that because they're right, right in the middle of your forehead. Like somebody hits you with a rock right there and it will radiate all the way around. And I know that a lot of that comes from clearing. Okay. When the debris is clearing on a spiritual chakra, that's up higher like that, it can really just feel a like pressure. It can feel like pressure, like pushing. So what, um, yeah, always in your left ear. Okay. That, yeah, she's hearing, Kelly is also saying she's hearing that in her left ear. So I think, first of all, it's, it's the sixth third eye chakra and the throat chakra. I think it's both. I, I, for some reason, communication has been just, it's like the soul is trying to push through and it wants to see everything and it wants to express itself through the fifth chakra, which is your communication, right? They're going hand in hand because the mind's eye wants to see and it wants to see clearly. So there's just a lot of internal housekeeping going on here that's clearing, especially if the energies have gone up through the different chakras and you have, if you don't know what the chakras are, those are like energy centers in your body that help you process energy here. And as it goes from fourth, which is your heart chakra, right? Center of your chest, 
fifth is your throat. Third eye, which she's talking about, is right here in the forehead, like the, the mind's eye, your psychic eye, your second sight. That's where clairvoyance will come in. You'll even see all kinds of stuff. And then the top chakra on the crown is the seventh. And these are all the spiritual chakras transitioning. But if there was density lower, and now all of a sudden we've had this burst of energy that's just been clearing and exploding things out, wham, sometimes it'll come up like something just got dislodged from another lower density. And then it goes boom and it's like it slams into the wall of something up higher because it'll just keep coming up until it's all the way out. So that's the part that's very interesting because, you know, what I do is I use like what you would use for sinuses, um, like this, the moisture for, you know, humidity, hot showers. I do uh, use water a lot when I'm trying to move energy. And that's what I've been doing. It's like there's energy that I've got to move, talking about these symptoms that you might be feeling. Um, and there's other ones too that I wanna mention. Water can help pull the energy off. So, you know, the hot shower physically, the hot shower or something warm, you know, or the steam like you would do for sinus congestion really eases. And it's also using the water as a conduit. It may not be sinus infection. I'm just saying that type of physical treatment for sinuses and congestion and stuffiness helps alleviate and helps give the energy that's trying to find a way out a conduit to anchor to the water, the moisture. That's what I'm sharing with you. Now, there's a lot of people hearing those high pitches. And here's the thing. You've got all this ringing and it has nothing to do with a medical condition. If you ha I mean, I'm not saying everybody that hears a lot of high ringing pitching and all that in their ears isn't something like that. But if there's nothing going on and you're hearing all this and it's changing notes, it like it'll be one frequency, then the next frequency and the next. And I've been hearing more too. I mean, my hearing, my, um, I mean, I've been, you know, my friends and family, they've been teasing me like, seriously, you hear like a dog, you know, they'll tell me that because how can you hear that? I'll hear something. It feels like it's like a mile down the road. How do you hear that? But I've got all this high pitch in my ear, but I'm hearing but I'm hearing frequencies from other dimensions. I'm hearing music. Anybody hearing music? Or smelling, you know, smelling interesting things. Another thing I'm noticing, and I wanted to ask if anybody was noticing this, if you look at your skin, does it look like it has reflective little, um, it's almost like you have little sequins or something on you. You have little reflective spots. And you'll, you don't notice them and then you'll look down and you go, what is, why are they looking shiny? It's, I don't know how to explain it. It sounds like, it sounds a little odd, but I've been noticing a lot of reflective different, it's like your skin has like reflection in it, like you put it there. I know it's, it's interesting. Um, I've read and studied that that could be just the frequency shifting and that's, that's the higher frequencies coming in. I'm studying that. So I'm just telling you what I've seen out there. Um, the other thing is electrical sensations just in different parts of your body. You might feel it hot. You might feel tingles. You might feel like you just stuck your finger in the light socket. You know, weird stuff like that. You're feeling like charges for no reason. I've been feeling a lot of that, which I found very interesting. And I've always been very electrical anyway. I mean, with energy work, um, I have to really pay attention to that. Um, and that's why I will have crystals all around the, um, the computers because I've blown five motherboards. They knew, yeah, they, I'm expensive when it comes to computers. So they're like, how do you do that? I mean, that was back in the day when I didn't get it and I didn't know. So now I'm really careful. I never get myself around a computer if I'm angry because guess what? I'm going to blow something up with it. I mean, that's just what happens. It'll, 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 it'll charge into the system. And so I use quartz crystal 
for that. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. And it's, it's become a kind of a thing that's humorous for us, but also quite expensive. So we, we've been more careful and we know that now. And let me see what else we have here. We have, oh, oh my goodness. Jody's having nightmares, headaches, the high pitched noises. Um, Callie's saying, thank you. Yes. Okay. Use the water. You don't have to use it exactly the same way I'm using it, but water does help water and salt, um, salt, salt water, you know, the salt baths, any of that helps to move the energy. Um, another thing, whatever you might be feeling, whether it's the headaches or the symptoms or even emotional stuff, um, what can really help is movement activity. Um, whether it's walking, exercise, something a little bit more than maybe just sitting around. Sometimes we can just rest too much. Sometimes we don't rest enough. In this case, when you have energy that seems to be bouncing around, that's trying to find a way to move out, help it move out, you know, help it move. Um, Candace is saying her doctor told her last week that she has extraordinary hearing and she has ringing in her ear, but she can hear the strangest things. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is what I'm talking about. The, you're hearing the frequencies of the shift, the energy that's shifting. And last week I was talking about how earth has got a high frequency right now with the electromagnetic field. And um, some people are saying that that might be why we're hearing that pitch because you're tapping in and you're hearing the electromagnetic field of earth. Now that's what I've seen out there on that as well. All I know is my connection with spirit is easier now. And I've noticed that the discernment becomes clearer because you know, you know, when we move into an area where, oh, I don't know if I want to connect with that or not, you want to pay attention to if your body is like hesitating, if you're getting that signal. Your body is your antenna for your intuition, so you want to pay attention to that. And I wanted to, while we were on some of these, I wanted to go to an email that came in from Barbara. Barbara said she's looking back on 2018 and it has been a year of seeking authenticity and healing. I can say I am very, I'm a very different person than I was at the start of the year. That's exactly what we all want to be doing right now is really look at who you are now and who you were a year ago. Um, much of my growth has come from trial by fire. Okay. Whoa. Although I am grateful for the growth. I pray for an easier 2019. Oh yeah. I want to see that for you too. Can you ask the angels if I may have gentler lessons for the new year? Barbara, you can, you, all you got to do is ask for that. Absolutely. I mean, just claim that, put that intention out there that I want to learn in a gentler way. Now here's where you have to pick up your end of the deal with that. Okay. We can ask for gentler lessons, but you want to make sure that your intention is to pay attention and notice it because if there was resistance, like I was talking earlier, resistance, even if we're not aware, we, a lot of times resistance is we don't realize we're resisting. We're just resisting and we don't know it energetically. And usually any kind of discomfort, any kind of, you know, difficulty with life, usually there's some sort of resistance within ourselves that we're not accepting it. We're not okay. You know, whatever it might be, a lot of different scenarios here. But when we go gentler, we want to make sure that our antenna, our antenna is tuned in to notice something gentler because lessons are lessons. We continue to learn while we're here. We never stop learning. I'm constantly learning. But if you're waiting for the big one, like, oh, wait, that's everything's fine. Everything's fine. And then all of a sudden something big comes in. It was because you didn't notice the gentler lessons. Actually, we always have an opportunity for something easier. We just don't, we never saw it before. And I have, I've had that happen too. I've like, oh man, I didn't realize that right there is where you step in Barbara and you are proactive in this shifting because 
and anybody that is experiencing this, because if you take that deep breath and you go, you know what, let me just like adjust here sooner than later. Cause I didn't want to, you know, you, you know, if you're avoiding, or if you want to put it off or usually things like that can make it escalate. And I'm talking in general because every situation is unique, but when we want gentler, it's basically wanting, you know, just saying, you know what, I'm going to pay attention and I'm going to tweak and adjust and accept and be more flexible sooner than later. And that is how you work with your soul alignment and with universal energies and spirit that help you ascend because we're really a partake our participant in our own growth. Um, they guide us, but, but we actually do the work. So I hope that that helps you. I really do. Um, let's see. I know I missed a break. We were on a roll Carter. We're going to take one in a minute. And if we don't, then I might end up coughing here because I'm going like crazy. Let's see here. We have Barbara. Okay, that, oh, I think that was you. Uh, she's saying, wow, I've noticed her, she's noticing her skin, her right eyelid randomly twitches. Yes. Um, also pay attention to your diet. Make sure you're not missing. Uh, uh, here's the thing. When we're going through ascension stuff like this, a lot of times we have to tweak our diet a little bit. We could be eating healthy. I've always been one to try to be proactive in eating healthy, but even in the last year, I've noticed I've had to change a lot of different things. Like, wow, I've just had to adjust some things with, okay, my body needs a little bit more of this nutrient than the other. So I call that intuitive eating. Um, it's, you know, and if, if you're in the group, we can go into it deeper, but you know, I, I, I keep saying it like that because I can only do it so much here, guys. That's why we made the group. So we want to teach more in there with that kind of stuff. Um, it is this, it's crazy because sometimes you just know that you've got to adjust something with your diet. Um, sometimes the twitching could be de something is coming into my mind here. Dehydration, watch out with the water and there's the water again, because whether you're using it like a therapy, a shower or, you know, steam or whatever, also taking in good water because that helps flush energies out. There's a lot of energetic detoxing going on right now with our bodies, whether you know it or not, because the frequency we're living in here on earth is just taking us there. It's like, you're going to these levels that you know, whoa. And, and it's going to do that. It's so you, you want to clear it out. You're healthier. It's not like, oh, it's putting me through all this discomfort. It's not trying to do that, but it's showing you the areas that could be cleared up and cleaned up. That's why they feel that way. And when I realized that, I went, oh, of course. So this energy here with this optimism is going to help you not be so hesitant to clean it up a little bit in any area of life that you need to on your soul ascension. So that right there is worth celebrating because you know what? This is, this is like what we've been waiting for, for a long time, for people that have been in the spiritual awakening or light workers, or we've just been, we've known this was coming. It's, it's kind of like it's here. So it's a big deal. And now it's, you know, other people are awakening to it and you see all of the resistance out there of the people that don't understand, but you know, look how hard life is. Have you seen what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. And then it's like, when you don't go there, it's completely different, completely different. This is just stuff that's, man, I don't even know. I, I know that this is exciting. Um, I know everybody's going to have something different. They have to tweak in their life or something they have to give and take, let go, move forward, try something different and new. The energy, this optimistic energy is really going to be very positive for not being so hesitant to try something new. You're going to actually look forward to, you know what? I am so ready. I am so ready to try something new. I am so ready to just do this 
you know, and that's what you want to grab onto because this will help boost you to do it. So if there's something that you've always wanted to do, or you've been procrastinating to change and you know, you need to, or you're like, Oh, you know, you know, that kind of stuff. This energy really will help. It really will. It's an appreciation of how far you've come. And then you celebrate by taking a step forward in a new direction that you've wanted to do. Now, some of those new directions may just be tweaking and improving what your plan was all along. It may be, I know I'm pretty much on the path I want to be on, but you find new creative ways to improve it. You're going to feel that too. I mean, I see that in some places, you know, and I see things that I want to do brand new. I got a little bit of a mixed bag with that as well. And I find also, um, and I'm going to take a break here for a moment and then we'll come back. But anybody else think about it. Are you finding that sleep patterns have been affected? Like you're not sleeping at all, or you're sleeping for an hour and then you're wide awake and then you sleep a long time the next day, you know, sleep is it's erratic. It's all over the place. I've been like that for about a week. Um, yeah, I'm pretty wound up right now and I've been up since 1245. I went to bed at 9.30 last night. We usually go to bed around 9, 9.30 and I was wide awake at 12.45 and I just came downstairs and it was like, all right, clean the kitchen, you know, did all kinds of stuff. And I'm, I just didn't need any more sleep. And so I just, well, let me go downstairs. And so I don't get upset about it. I just go with it. So let me leave you with that and think about other things. If you have anything else you've been experiencing or you have a question about, throw it out there um, because when we come back, we're going to wrap up the show. We got a few more minutes here. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. We will be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Welcome back. This is our last segment. So we're going to wrap it up and I want to give you a couple of tips and a couple of pointers for this energy because there will be a little bit there that may make you feel like, where's the optimism? How come I can't find it? Watch out for the overanalyzing. 
watch out for that because sometimes it's like, wow, it, it can actually feel that good. You know, sometimes we actually overload ourselves with so much of our analyzing and rethinking and overthinking that we start to confuse our own self with, with, you know, a reality that's not necessarily the truth for us. It's a false. Um, it, you know, it can happen. It happens to everybody. So when you start to feel like, oh, wait, you know, you don't feel like you're finding it, just stop right there and ask Archangel Jophiel to come in and say, Jophiel, help me realign and reconnect with this incredible optimistic energy. Trust me. I, well, you don't have to trust me, but I would say try that. I mean, it's not going to hurt. If you feel that you don't know what you're connecting to, or that gets a little confusing, or you're not sure if it's good or positive or negative, how do you feel around this when you connect? Because a lot of people's, um, I guess you could call it psychic abilities or that connection to spirit. You're going to find that you're connecting more. Um, you're going to find that I know I'm hearing something or I'm, you know, what is that? And if you're not sure, you can always ask for a validation. Never hesitate. I do. I always ask for a validation and anything from the light and the positive and the divine will always appreciate that you're validating. So if you ever feel a concern about that, you can all, you want to shield up. Obviously I'm hitting my mic. Sorry about the noise. Um, uh, you want to shield up, you want to, you know, you have the right to go into these depths of your intuitive connection and feel safe. You absolutely do. So you want to know that you can protect yourself. You can feel safe that way. You can say, no, I, I don't know who you are. Um, I'm going to need to see your ID kind of thing in the spirit world. Absolutely. You can do that. And angels don't have a problem with that. You know, if you like somebody shows up and says, Hey, I'm Michael, Archangel Michael, and you're not sure, ask for his ID. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm making a joke about it, but not really. You absolutely can. And if it just doesn't feel right, then it doesn't. If it does feel amazing, if it does feel very positive and it is right for you, then it doesn't matter what anybody else is saying, does it? You're trusting your own intuition with that. Um, some of the things are, and one of the other things I wanted to make sure I pointed out to you on this energy that as we move forward, okay, because whatever was left that had to go away, don't let that trip you up. Some of that might be, don't try to, it's that, you know, that lane of regret, like don't over focus or overthink Oh, the things you should or shouldn't have done. You are not who you were a year ago. Now, are you? No, just think one year ago. You're, I mean, in just one year, how different you are. You're not that person. You're not that person from yesterday. Letting go of that past because you're trying to drag it with you. It, it's like clean slate. It's you're making decisions where you are today, right now, your perspective of your world today not where you were completely different. So don't let that trip you up. Um, it will come up for you to release it, not for you to grab it and hold on to it and pack it in your bag and can take it with you. Let me put it that way. That's a big one. Make sure you're not doing that. And then for heaven's sake, you need to celebrate. You need to allow yourself to have some fun. This is a good time of year to do it. It's a holiday season for most people. Um, you know, go out there and enjoy life. Do things that celebrate how far you've come. Nurture yourself. You know, let make sure that you're acknowledging the hard work you've done to be where you are and who you are today. Yeah. And, you know, you're going, oh, yeah, because you don't need the validation from anybody else. You don't need it really from anybody else. Sometimes, you know, in life, you know, it's like, oh, I'm going to get you know, I'm going to get that award from school or I'm going to get the kind of like life taught us that to be, you know, wait for that reward and get that acceptance from outside of ourself. When it comes to spiritual ascension and soul ascension, it does not come from anywhere but you 
giving your own self the kudo and feeling good about that. It really is an inside job, okay? It's an inside job. It always has been. And a lot of people are now starting to realize, wow, it really is more of an internal thing here. And that is the secret to all of this that I know so far. And I'll say it like that because I discover new things and things unfold for me and I'm growing and learning with you. I'm sharing as much as I possibly can with you, but I'm learning too. So I would never say that I know it all. I would never say that because there's too much to, to grow and learn into. I feel like we've just moved into a new layer. It's like going up into high school back in the day, way back in the day. And oh, okay, now we're like, oh, look at all this stuff that's like, I have to learn now. You know, you know what I mean? When you feel like the new kid on the block and you just moved up to the next level and now you're like, oh man, now you feel like you're got to climb that. But it's a good climb, guys. It's positive. It's good. It's your, it's, you're going to have your happiness and peace, your health and your vitality and, and life. I mean, when the inside is happy and healthy, guess what? The physical responds to that. It responds to that. So guys, that is a lot of the celebration here. It's you making sure you celebrate you. Don't wait for somebody else to celebrate how much you've achieved because this is really for you to acknowledge you. You need to acknowledge and honor it and you need to celebrate it and you know, enjoy and share with friends or other like-minded people. I am about to choke <laughs> all this talking I've done. I've been excited to share this with you. Mm. Excuse me guys, but you know what? The physical stuff can be uncomfortable when that energy is purging out. You know, you want to tend to that. You want to physically take good care of yourself with diet, exercise, rest, meditation. Meditation will help a lot with a lot of these things because it's just coming up to go away and it's coming up to show you, wow, I had no idea this stuff was in there. Oh, it's like the closet that never got cleaned out. All of it's just purging out and you'll feel lighter as it does it. So the optimism of any of the stuff that you might be feeling, whether it's physical, emotional, any of this stuff, any of the things that are coming up, they're there to help you grow and learn. Okay. Take that optimistic viewpoint and life will take care of you. It really will. There's a lot of good things to look forward to here. Lots of positives here. This has been, I know I've been talking like crazy because I wanted to share so much and I have to go so fast, but guys, we will not be here next week. I'm taking a break next week on the show. Uh, got some things going on here that I got to tend to. So just life, you know, but I want you to know I'll be back after that. Um, and we're going to do, I think that would be the 20th. So the next live show is on December 20th. And that is the, that's the one where we're going to really look into 2019. Okay. We're going to do it then because I want you to have some of that information before you move into 2019. We are in the holiday season. So we do have a couple of encores and, and time off that we're not going to do a live show, but you guys, I want you to spend time with you and your families, your friends and celebrate who you are. And I want to thank you so much for listening and being a part of the show. I've enjoyed each and every time you guys show up and hang out here with me and I wish you so much love and I wish you so much celebration about who you are and how far you've come. We will see you next time here on the Jen Royster show. Namaste. <music>
Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com. 